turn you onto the Goku light leaps astride those. you, and away you go. Yeah. No, you just look like one of the little cloud things that that's um, got the one that left on Mario Kart. No, it's oh, did you ever, did you ever play um, Wonder Boy three? All oh, right, there were, there was these little monster clouds that would chase you, and every time they dropped a firebolt on you, they they'd, they'd have these faces, and then they go. <laughs> and then drop a five bottle on you. Look like it's once. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Caliban has gone. Got a bean smoke. Alright, we find our own way to here. Oh, How do we know where it was? Because I might be like blindfolded and do when we're taking that. No, but we headed back under our own steam. Okay. Or you headed back under our own steam. Can both of you who are travelling by normal mundane means make perception checks? Seven. But it's not a magic dice, so that's okay. <laughs> um, so you're not kind of molested or anything at all on the journey. Nice, thank you. <laughs> but you notice that whenever you pass by an animal, kind of regardless of what the animal is, whether it's birds sitting on the top of um, lamp posts or if it's the odd alley cat or something, they stop what they're doing and they watch you intently until you kind of go out of sight and then they just go back to what they're doing. Okay. I like since we're being watched. Will you put your weapon in your heart? But I'm going to, yeah, keep aware of that and just see if if you notice anything. Let me know. I'll notice the same. I'll confirm. Their eyes don't look weird or anything. They don't look... No more weird than cat's eyes already look. They're freaky. Naughty, naughty, possessing cat. Yeah, but everything. People walking their pet alligators, the alligators stop. Do the people like, hey, come on, Fred, come on. Yeah. Move your ass. Yeah, and like a couple of people that have, have got kind of, um, you know, miniature giant space hamsters as pets, they're kind of going, oh, we're really sorry, they're normally much more friendly. Because they're going to. Give us evils. Do they look like they've given us evils? No. Nope. They, 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 they look. Just intently staring. You know the way that a, a, a very, very young baby kind of looks right through you? <laughs> yeah. That, that sort of thing. Somebody's watching us. I get the feeling they're using the animals to do it. Anyway, we can't do anything about it, so let's keep going. Okay, so um, are you kind of taking a direct route or are you being circumspect? Being circumspect. Okay, so... Make a movement check. Back. Oh, no, three. Three. Five. Okay. So um, it takes you about 45 minutes or so as you're not going in a direct line with lots of kind of like doubling backs and stuff. Uh, and you make your way to the warehouse that used to be Aberron's. Um, you make Is this still a Chinese laundry or is it just a warehouse? Uh, I don't remember. It's just a warehouse now. If it was a Chinese laundry, that's closed up. We've well. had like two months worth of downtime since yeah. we first met him. So, so it's 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 just kind of like yeah. a a, a derelict warehouse. Um, there's a really optimistic sign up saying police, <laughs> convenient. Totally no evil things happened here. <laughs> Not haunted. Yeah. <laughs> Not Infinity haunted. Infinity square feet available. <laughs> <laughs> oh. only, only one previous owner. Marginal interdimensionalness. <laughs> but it, it does have a permit, uh, you'll be pleased to know, to have its own pocket dimension, but only on the second floor. So. Yeah, you, it's a laundry. It, it was a laundry, yeah. but it's, it's, it's not anymore. That laundry's gone. Right. So, so want to make sure there's no sneaky animals or anything looking at us. It seems as, as empty as, as it can be for a warehouse. 
you're fairly certain there's going to be some rats knocking about because there always are. There's some there's some bed sheets that are covered in cran apple juice, which nobody has come back for. <laughs> Crap, was a bad idea. Yeah, the, the guy that brought them back says something about having to return some videotapes. I know. I know. <laughs> Is that what you call love? Yes, we wait for um, Charlie Burns. And I float in through the conveniently open skylights. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the cloud does kind of like pause and go. And then, oh, 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 I wasn't sober before, I am now. It feels so good to rain when you're a cloud. It's rid of all the badness. Peeing in the shower. Yeah, like a hundred. <laughs> that traffic warden didn't know anything. <laughs> You're insensate for the trip. Oh yeah, arses. What does that mean? It means that you, I can't feel Hello. what's going on. You just know this, Jimmy Mitchell. <laughs> okay, so I, I, okay, we're just going to come up. I come up and I go. I'll see. Oh, oh, that was quick. And then it, my mind does that whole, the whole bit from. Um, uh, Scott Pilgrim, the, the twisting, he's like, mm. I've got to go pee. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to approach the ball. Do you want to take, see if you can take the top bit off, because it's not broken. Get a teaspoon. So, yeah. while Ross like goes to the little boys' Easter room. eggs, the Cadbury's Easter eggs that they do, and they've got goo in the middle. Oh, we've food. gone from one sovereign to another. We have the Imperator. Again, it's the sovereign of visions. No, we had the imperator at the end of the last game. Yeah, well, he's back. He's back. <laughs> I think if we did in this live stream thing, we've got to have like little paddles where we all go, not magic. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes conflict is needed and the Imperator believes that keeping a level head and using intellect and wisdom rather than rage or brute force paves the path to victory. Of course, not every crisis point lies within the literal battle. Some conflicts take other forms. Stressful situations where some are prone to make rash decisions based on emotion, but not the Imperator. Follow his example. The Imperator is the sovereign of visions. He is a leader, an advisor, a teacher and a mighty warrior. Events come to a head. Something happens to alter the course of future events and it could be for the better or worse. An NPC makes a wise choice in the midst of stress and conflict. A revelation is made of a new deciding factor. Not magic. So, the... Um, the Paris has turned up again. New card for... For the scene is the Imperator. Ooh, blueberry muffin. <laughs> He's making it sound fun. Blueberry muffin? Yes, please. Five. No, it's not five penis, guys. No, no thank you. Okay, so it's, it's the uh, sovereign of the of visions. So you um, shine the light in through a little crack um, and you can see mostly intact clothes with a couple of like burns 
um, and you can see a kind of I'm trying to think of what the right word is. I, I'm just going to go for a pile of goo. A discharge of goo. Have I inflicted one despair on the GM? So you think... I was thinking of something that was kind of like a bit a shot like in the mouth of goo. Of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to make it worse. I was thinking of something like mercury, not okay. smegma. <laughs> <laughs> smegma. <laughs> Kind of like mercury, yeah. so oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's viscous and it's it's fluid, but at the same time it's it's kind of really dense. And if if, if you touch it, it's got quite a lot. Is of it like that misty stuff that you make out of cornflour? What uh, like a non-Newtonian? Yeah, a little bit like um, I, I forget what the word for it is. Yeah, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a bit like that. Thing, buddy. So it's you not... said that you you are fire. Maybe if you try and heat the. Ball up, see what it does. Okay. You're not going to start gentle and just cup the ball. Might cup it gently and gently hit it. You know. I hardly know this thing. I can't go full in straight away. That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm not. Yeah. Sorry. I can weave for that because at the moment, although. That's something that's happened to me. It was under really kind of emotional circumstances. Mm. And so it's not something I'm really trained at yet. But I can heat a mystery. Okay. Um, you said a weave is for us, yeah? Uh, no, it, it depends what you can throw it at, uh, up to level 6, and it has more effect the higher level you throw it at. I don't actually need this to be a massively high effect, then, do no. I? No. Um, I probably want it at maybe 3. So, if for example, it's a level 3, um, change a creature's emotional state is a level 3 ability. Mm -hmm. So if this is still a creature, the end you, you look at the end goal, mm -hmm. and you say, okay, well... I want it to be awake. I want yeah. this thing to be awake. Yeah. Well, let's go with that. Level three. Oosh. Oosh. Cups of jelly. <laughs> so you're you're. Yeah, we've tapped on the egg top with a teaspoon. Yeah. Take a look. So there's, I don't know, five six inch hole. Um. And then kind of, it's obviously resting on the ground because mm -hmm. I can't lift her. Yeah. So you, you kind of get a hand sort of either side at, at the bottom of the orb and you, you channel your magic through it. Um, and at first it seems like nothing is happening. But then the the whole kind of mass of goo kind of shoots out of the, the hole in the top um, and kind of lands with a kind of wet sort of splodgy noise um, on the ground next to you. Uh, and then slowly it kind of starts drawing itself up into something that's kind of vaguely human shaped, um, but it doesn't have any kind of defined features. You've got it's got sort of a head and kind of arms. It's you know vaguely bipedal, um, but you can't really I'm gonna... make out what it is. I'm going to say chalkboard marks. Um, it kind of either it doesn't hear you or it's not paying attention to you. It's kind of concentrating on kind of flexing all of its various bits okay if that's the case it's like um, try again and be like what's your name who are you it sort of turns around um and, and the bit of the the kind of um head that you guess would be the face just kind of looks back at you sort of blankly um and then your face kind of comes through and it just mimics what you said back to you. Mm. 
intellect. I'm going to do an intellect test. Would I know of anything like mimicky that does this? Mm -hmm. I have magical meal as well. I'd like to know we've seen this in its natural state. I'd like to apply the... Three. <laughs> Nine. Um, this thing has got lots of different names depending on whereabouts uh, in the actuality that you come from, uh, but it's a changeling. Okay, um, I've heard these things called changelings. It's normally, like I say, or like I said beforehand, hired or enslaved by something that they have very little of their own personality or desire. Okay. So but the changeling. Even if it didn't have its own personality or desire, it does have its own members. Mm -hmm. And we just need to wait for them to hope they come back while well, all of its synapses or whatever reform. Um, um, we can ask some questions about what it's been doing. If we ask it now, maybe say who hired you and it might turn into. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Go for it. Ask it. Who's hired you? Um, it kind of looks up, and when you address it directly, it kind of takes your face again. Um, and it just kind of gives you this sort of like knowing smile. And oh, it difficult. I have a no mind, and I can read surface thoughts. Mm -hmm. Often, when people are denying something verbally, that's what they're thinking about mm -hmm. mentally. So, I'd like to try that, please. Okay. A level two and a dice. So two sorcery. So two sorcery. And a you dice. roll one normal and one magic dice. Okay. Uh, you, you can spend extra sorcery to make the spell more powerful to read the harder minds. Um, no. I've got a seven and a one. Okay. So, um, the first thing that you're aware of is it's not sort of waking up or um, waiting for its kind of synapses to realign or anything like that. It's it's perfectly awake and it's perfectly aware and you can sense that there's a really cool, cunning kind of intellect behind there. But behind that, uh, there is there is a, a sort of like a, a literal wall that you can't get any any deeper from. So it's awake and it knows what it's what, what you're asking it, uh, and it is just being difficult. Okay. I would say that. I'm going to cast a spell, okay. because that's what we do. I'm going to cast Anamnesis. I recall something that I, could ne I never could have known. Disappears from the noosphere in my brain like any other memory. I choose the general subject, but not the specific bit of information. I just want a uh, bit of information about changelings, please, Bob. Okay. During the war, changelings were a favoured weapon of the enemy. They would use them as uh, spies and saboteurs. Okay, I relay that to, to my colleagues and say, um, want to get rid of this thing. I don't think we're going to get any information out of it. Mm. Um, hearing that, it turns back into the kind of um, uh, Luke Evans, kind of Robbie Rotten sort of like um, form that you'd seen him in before. Well, let's not be too hasty. Do we give us a good reason not to. Well, what, what, what do you want to know? We can deal, we can parlay. I want out of here. Why are you calling yourself Chalk Lord Mark? Well, that is not who you are. Would it be easy for you if I looked like this and his whole head morphs into the kind of chalkboard thing? No, no it wouldn't. Do you recognise me now? Um, you're still not him. You don't fool me. I... He, his, his face kind of like turns back into uh, the, the kind of Luke Evans sort of face and he looks at you with a really sort of 
evil, triumphant sort of smile. I, I, I think he always was. I think he always was, Torgor Marsh. And then his face turns into yours again, uh, and then yours, uh, and okay. then yours, and then when Roland's, his... and then Astraos's. And it's all not as, as you are now, but how you were a couple of months ago when you were investigating his death. So, Torgor Marsh's spirit came into my mind. I, I don't know, is there, because he's not spirity, there's no way of, is there some kind of thing about this thing that I can sense is the same? If that makes sense. How do you think? Mm. As in, do you get the same kind of soul vibe? Yeah. From it? Because I've had that, I've had triple mark, triple mark spirit in my head, is the, this thing's would I have known whether it was make a change in when it was in my brain? Make a perception check. I can't do that and take a look at the same yeah, thing. Yeah, you can. Can you sort of live on an A as one to your or yeah. as one to your venture and sort of just do some extra dice? So a nine on the dice and four. That's ten. That's that's ten. So um, as you start saying, you know, you're not. I I know you're not. This horrible kind of feeling starts kind of like in the pit of your stomach, yeah. because when he looks like Stobold, the kind of feeling that you get off him is the same sort of feeling that you get of Stobold. When he looks like Roland, the feeling that you get off him looks like Roland. Yeah. And when his face is a chalkboard, it feels just like the the spirit. That you had. So the real chalkboard mark died, and this is an imposter that killed him. No, this was all a chalkboard mark. Chalkboard mark so how is your spirit at any point? Because they magic. embody the magical elements of that spirit, is whatever they are at the time. Oh, it's fun watching you grope around trying to find the answers. This is brilliant. By the way, do you mind if I put my clothes back on? Do you know what? Not even really noticed. No. Fantastic. He reaches in through the top of the egg and kind of holds up sort of like his jeans that have got kind of. Actually, I do mind. You can image your own clothes out, and you can't be dodging anything. No, can't be getting anything out of dodgy pockets. Stay as you are, please. Fine. He puts the jeans down. Too many things have been bought out of the peacoat pockets so far today. He kind of manifests himself sort of a, a kind of really casual kind of like pair of jogging bottoms and a t-shirt. Sorry that I'm not more fashion conscious, but this actually takes a fair amount of effort. He kind of looks around for something to sit on and kind of see nothing, sort of props himself against the, um, the, the rock. Um, and he, he's looking very kind of... Lucian relaxed. So go on then. I tell you what, I want out of here. Okay? Out of where? Out of this room, out of this lovely dingy place that you've bought me. Uh, I want out of here with my skin, so to speak, intact. So um, how about you ask me a few questions, I'll give you some info, a bit of quid pro quo, and I'll go back. Seems to remember you lot doing a lot of that during the war. What going back or quid pro quo? Quid pro quo, the universal lubricant. Unfortunately, I can't remember a lot of that. So how do you know? Well, I'm not a Visley, am I? I didn't go and hide in shadow, did I? Rather having any choice of that, so what do you know? Oh no, that's that's a bit vague, love. You're gonna have to be a bit more clear, and I'd like some sort of guarantee that I'm gonna get out of here. How can we be sure that anything you tell us is the truth? Well, that's a chance you're gonna have to take, isn't it? And then it's a good chance you're gonna have to take the order that you're out. What incentive have I got to speak? You used to be better at this. So 
tell me the truth, and I don't use that. All right, and the sword, I basically, normally with this sword, I, I had to psychically rein in this aura of death and menace that it's got. I'm not doing any of that at the moment. Okay. So, um, just before we cast it, he, he looks at the sword, kind of blanches slightly. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, you'll get no lies out of me, but I won't volunteer anything. That's fine. You have to ask. Um, I would like to cast Falsehood's Halo, mm -hmm. which is anyone nearby except me who knowingly tells a lie glows a halo of orange light. Okie dokie. So it's level 2 plus 1 die. So, spend your sorcery. Come, come, this is too easy. Six on the line. One question each. I think that seems fair. One question each. I'm out of here. Is he telling the truth about that? Has he turned orange? You'll let us know if he turns orange. Mm -hmm. You believe you me, I've got no desire to see any of you ever what again. What are your instructions? My instructions are, are to harass and harry you at every turn and opportunity that I've got. Now my day-to-day -day instructions change from day to day. Specific. I did warn you, got to be more specific. Who's asking you to do that? They. Obviously. Your old friends? He kind of sort of like starts, his shoulders start to oh, this really is rich, isn't it? You really can't remember. Well, that's two down. He can't be fake, but he Mate. can be. Hmm. Uh, come on, love. I said right at the beginning, be specific. You're not being specific with your answer. They is not an answer. Who? Make an intellect check. A nine and a seven. Well, a ten and a seven. Whenever people refer to they, it is the enemy that you fought in the war. Nobody mentions them by name because nobody knows what their name is. Uh, I can't remember if it's in the world of war. What was your agreement with Harlequin that had you kill him? Now that is a bit of a sad state of affairs. One that was uh, solved to my satisfaction and great mirth. You all thought that Harlequin came to me because uh, he was stealing the black? I stole the black. He was recovering it. And you went and 86 would him. <laughs> ah! Fantastic. Well, that's my three. And I think I bid you farewell. Cool. Mm -hmm. Casting a doorway to a, uh, a doorway to a different sun behind him. Fairly sad. And that's not what we agreed on. You're getting out of here, right? Specifically, here. you asked to get out of here. Specifics, my friend. Specifics. Oh, well played. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna never shit a shit. Straight up. Boot him. Like big boots from Hanover <laughs> kick you're, you're, um, into the this is into far the doorway. He <laughs> <clears throat> bought laser, no sells it. No, um, <laughs> you kick him backwards, and all you can hear as he kind of tumbles through the doorway is this kind of incessant sort of laughter. Oh, oh this is brilliant! And the door kind of closes to the silver. Yep.
so this has been going on for years so with that we now cut the savage sword which is the three of visions The sword is a weapon of war, a metaphor for any kind of weapon one might wield. The savage sword is our basis nature, our predilection towards violence and our shameful bloodlust. But it is also our strength to overcome obstacles and foes when we need to. It is the opposite of thought, strategy or consideration. It is immediate and decisive, without hesitation or regard for consequence. The savage sword is the opposite of the revealing knife in most respects. A battle occurs. Someone is murdered. Something is destroyed. An NPC displays sudden and unexpected savagery and ruthlessness. Not magic. Number one, we might have to owe Holly from an apology, yep. which is a prospect I do not relish. No, because we've done a proper reason something in the bag. I know it's hindsight, but it's obvious that the enemy was playing a long game. The enemy wants the end of the path of suns, that's why we've, we've been beset by demons and 19 and creatures from the dark. So is 19 one of them? It's an entity of the dark. It wants the destruction of the path. Isn't it? I have a sneaky suspicion that we need to find Roland. Yep. Because he's the one that's clued into what the Rose wants. Yep. So, the list of things that we need to do one was find Chalkboard Mark. Yep. That's why you're talking, you become aware of the scurrying of dozens and dozens of little tiny feet. We need to get out of here, the animals are listening in to us. And you look around and you can see kind of reflected in the, the dim light all the little beady eyes of some small rats and some not so small rats. And in the rafters of the building you can see the reflections of the eyes of crows and ravens. And here endeth the session. Yeah, as fuck. Really needed Thomas for that, but never mind. I thought we may do. <coughs> Caliban, how do you think that went for you today? Did I make progress under any of my ox? No. Repay of debt. Uh, Give you which my debt was to Harlequin. Uh, join an organisation. No. Make my mark under every sun. No. Although sending a demon of the dark to setting him free and booting him into the silver. He wasn't a demon. Oh, an entity of the dark. Mm. Um. So no, no progress on my arcs, I don't believe. Generally speaking, I do not like being played. No. I don't mind people holding things over me. But I really don't like it when they um kind of, and especially since this has been going on for a long time. So on the spare. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hawk. Yeah, I've been played and I don't like that I've had something strange 
in my brain that I couldn't tell that it wasn't just a pure. I, I feel defiled and I'm not letting spirits in for a little while. I'm just bad. Um, one of my aunts is undoing the wrong, so I'm kind of righteous, and I feel that although I didn't kill um, Harlequin myself, that I've helped kind of accomplice a wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy. Oh, sorry. And it's slightly too late, all of you remember what the spiders have been telling you for months. How well do you really know Chalkboard Mark? Straight off and his obsession with the spiders. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it, I just thought it was a Straight and his creepings. Perfect at this. Hey! It's not magic! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That was uh, quite a tense. I had to use my brain and my brain's not working. Uh, well, you, you managed to stop the running battle down the street pretty quickly with your lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a sneak suspicion that that might, when I get the ability to pull the same incantation back again, that might be one that I'm going to keep on tap. I'm just making sure all my tokens are flat. Yeah. So when my tokens. Just take a. Yeah. It's like a cat. If it fits, this is. May I have the dice with these? Dice shots. Have I got your dice there, bud? Yep, yep. 